With the use of modern farming system and intelligent agricultural technology, including such as high-tech drones, satellite imagery, and some other available cutting-edge technologies, China has been able to double and even multiply abundantly its yield of crops and vegetables yearly in a way that is at another level. If you are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you will always receive updates of our channel. Today, brace yourself to see the rise of farming innovation in China. And without wasting any more of your time, here we go with our video. Number 1 is Watch How Semi-Automatic Vegetable Planters Help Farmers Work At an agricultural machinery show in China's Yinchuan, various semi-automatic vegetable planters are on display. These seedling planters are good helpers for farmers. They could increase planting efficiency and reduce farmers' workloads. Vegetable transplanting is a laborious and time-consuming field operation when performed manually. The semi-automatic vegetable transplanters are cumbersome to operate due to limitations on manual feeding rates of seedlings, which vary with respect to work duration and skill of the operator. Number 2 is China's Beidou Navigation Satellite System Helps with Farming With the development of the new technologies such as the 5G and Beidou Navigation Satellite System, on-man technology is injecting impetus into agriculture lowering costs while improving efficiency. Here comes the season of rice planting with the help of Beidou Navigation Satellite System. The driverless rice transplanter are shuttling between the rice fields, transplanting rows of rice seedlings in an efficient way. BDS is a global satellite navigation system built and operated independently by China, which can provide global users with high precision and reliable positioning and navigation services all day. Number 3 is China's Beidou Navigation System Helps with Smart Farming Arduous farm work might become a thing of the past in many regions of Heilongjiang, China, thanks to the adoption of smart rice transplanters guided by the Beidou Navigation Satellite System. Self-driving rice transplanters are working guided by the Beidou Navigation Satellite System. Transplanting seedling is monitored by smart agriculture setter via real-time images sent by transplanter through 5G. Number 4 is Chili Peppers Harvest in Northwest China's Xinjiang. Farmers are busy harvesting chili peppers in Anjihai Township of Shawan County, northwest China's Xinjiang, thanks to abundant sunshine and irrigation water that it receives from the Tianshan Mountains. Ten plus kinds of peppers grow in the area with high quality. The chili pepper industry contributes to half of local farmers' income. Besides of being sold nationally, Anjihai's chili peppers are exported to countries including South Korea and Japan. Number 5 is China's Hebei province tries to reduce wheat loss during harvest.
winter wheat harvest is underway in North China's Hebei province. More than 2.23 million hectares of winter wheat were planted, an increase of 30,200 hectares from 2020. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs holds a national race for loss reduction of harvester operators to minimize grain loss during harvest. Let's watch to savor the bumper harvest and to learn what talents those operators got for reducing grain loss in the field. Ensuring food security has always been a top priority of the Chinese government. However, China's grain supply is facing challenges due to limited sources for grain production and the growth of domestic grain consumption. Reducing post-harvest grain loss represents one of the most realistic and effective ways to ensure grain security in China. Number 6 is Mechanization makes the toughest agricultural day easier in South China. The paddy field in Nanshui village, Yudan Township, Xiaxiang City, Hunan Province. As you can see, the field is all golden, and the early rice has matured and plump plants are covered with ears of rice. The temperature here has exceeded 35 degrees Celsius. The farmers here don't need to do everything by themselves. Some really capable helpers are here to contribute to Shuangqiang. Number 7 is A single olive tree helped to bridge China with the world. How can olive trees help to bridge China and abroad? The olive is originated in the Mediterranean, and its oil often called liquid gold is used widely in food, cosmetics, and medicine. In the 1960s, the Albanian government gifted China more than 10,000 olive saplings. These were planted across the country. The soil in London is very similar to the Mediterranean coast, making perfect for the growing olives. And that's all there is to it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.